Those teams are extremely focused defensively, man-to-man -man defense, but they love to shoot the three ball. First point on the board, Janelle Brown, the Mac Clay earning lineups for Fairfield, presented by Capital One. We talked about Janelle Brown, who has been spectacular, the Mac player of the year, and Megan Anderson leading the way, too. Fairfield doing a good job right now, just holding them to one shot on each possession. Really nice ball movement there. Look at Brown knocking it down from three. Fairfield. Really spreading out that Indiana defense. Janelle Brown averaging about 14 points per game. Her season high, 35, as a take to the rim, and that one's going to be good. And here comes Fairfield again, really pushing pace. The efficiency for Fairfield. You talked about it. Them wanting to get more threes up. Tough defense, and then continuing to push pace. Fairfield averaging about nine threes per game. Another look at the rim that goes down for Yard and Garzo. Katie Lamro with the ball with 10 on the shot clock. On target, off the mark. Advancing it ahead, off the bounce once again. Nice look, this one. Carly is one of those coaches with a terrific basketball mind. It's a great hire by Fairfield. The reigning AP National Coach of the Year. Two-time Big Ten Coach of the Year as well. And talked about how they want to prove people wrong. They feel like they aren't getting the acknowledgement, even though they have four seasons where they're in the top four seed in the NCAA tournament. I think this Indiana team is highly motivated to come into this tournament. They felt that pain last year. Do not want to feel it again. Both ends of the floor right now. Indiana in charge by three. Well, Indiana is not afraid to pay, play at pace, and they will put the ball up, make things happen quickly. Well, how about Fairfield, who has just been on fire, even though their te her team was down and expected to win. As we see, Indiana knocked down that shot, and it was just tremendous to watch her composure for, the, for Fairfield, and her players actually also kept their composure and were able to just stick with it till some shots fell. Make the mark on that one. It has been very impressive throughout this game. Now Brown able to roll that one in. All tied up at 15. Chloe off the bounce, going right at the rim and gets the end one. Get to the rim. She has great size, too, at the point guard. Eighth in the league in points, fifth in assists. Has been amazing for her team this season as the beautiful basket underneath for Deliva. Again, that's what they're looking to do on offense with Fairfield is get Holmes away from the basket. Brown went for the steal. The dish underneath, McKenzie Holmes connects. Got to find that big in the middle. And again, that quick up, we saw them working on six already on both sides. We're excited to be here in Bloomington to cover the first game of this pod. Short shot clock again for Fairfield. Quarter three, triple of the day. This one coming from Amina Selimovic. Yeah, well, this again is pulling Holmes away. Chloe asking for the ball on the wing. Scalia, corner, and kicks it again. Wing three, and Janelle Brown checks back in for the Stags. Gets the rebound. Almost had to go amongst the trees there. Relocates, corner three, and that goes down. Yeah. My goodness, fifth three for the Stags. Lots of energy right now for Fairfield, and another turnover by Indiana, just rushing things and not seeing the defense. Pinpoint to precision, bounce pass for the bucket. Well, eight seconds on the shot clock. She needs to be aware of that. Had the hesitation move, bounce space, gets the bucket. Kenzie Deliva, the 5'11 senior out of Dorchester, Massachusetts, mm. has on the other end Chloe Moore McNeil. I think it's just so tough, too, to be a point guard and figure out when to distribute and when to take your, uh, a shot yourself. That ends their 9-0 run, but Fairfield still coming. Less than four minutes to play here in the second quarter. We've had two lead changes already. And they split the amount of time they've been in the lead. Two possession game with almost three minutes left in this second quarter. Mackenzie Holmes makes the dish underneath Alexis Vargas. Chloe Moore McNeil waving out the baseline. 
Trying to get some two-man game with her and Holmes. Corner three. And the Hoosiers are holding up Fairfield on the defensive end. Brown going at the rim. Another block for McKenzie Holmes. Great. Here's that block again. You have it. Look at the hustle. Found a lane and another block. Not sure if that hit underneath. Mackenzie Holmes asking for the bucket. A couple of people got in on that block. Your defenders from help side need to release as soon as that ball. It's a great job by two players uh, on help side defense. Couldn't get there in time for that one. Mackenzie Holmes on the board. 40 seconds to play in this first half. As well. We were able to talk about Garvin goes on, and how about that one down underneath from McKenzie Holmes? Because look how fast the defense comes over for help side. As I'm out of another Big Ten team, Iowa, with Mega Gustafson being very efficient herself. The threes keep raining in for Fairfield. And say hello to everyone in Israel right now who's watching us on the Israel Sports Channel. I know they're tuned in, excited about the Garzette Garzone family. And We're seeing a much slower pace in the second half. Yeah, absolutely. And I think Fairfield, with their stops, they need to get down the floor. But that run that Indiana had and shooting tell you what, we'll see the highlights of the offense for Indiana from this quarter, but they have been really good defensively. Willie Meister actually checks in for Holmes, and another block shot by Lexus Barkester. That is five this quarter, I believe. Less than a minute to play in the third quarter. Brown off the deck, mm. able to get that one in. Yeah, great attendance throughout this season. Iowa, another huge place where you can play in the Big Ten, and that's who they're behind for IU. It's so solid, the development of players. Corner three, Chloe, welcome to the party. <laughs> right back at you. Players that were already here. As that three is off the mark, the rebound underneath, no foul call. That one also blocked by Brown. I think of her knee bothering her. Pulls down the rebound there. Full court pass up ahead. Paris gets the bucket after tracking it down. It has been physical. Look at the vision here by Garzone. Get the ball down the floor to Paris. He takes contact. He's able to finish. Away from the basket, you're going to see a lot of physicality. Focus. <laughs> she had the same type of game, 23, 25 points in that game. Second to just Caitlin Clark in the Big Ten. Going to get a chance to see Scotty again in the great fade. That's the kind of read. Goes on. We'll take a seat. underneath dish and it just doesn't get any easier they come at you in waves so difficult to go up against that for 40 minutes the six foot sophomore Hennessy Vick on the board and that one's blocked as well and it's just been a complete game you know, the shot we have seen multiple times where maybe they're beat with injuries and some just needing to back McKenzie Holmes up but her size and her ability to produce on the court I think it's gonna be really critical deserve to host, I believe. Well, Coach went back as far as our second game of the season, and they dropped that game 96-64 to against Stanford, and they continue to pile it on. When you make the tournament, you give yourself a chance in the first half. And one bucket for a bar dresser. And there is nothing but competitors on these two teams. So substitutions on both sides. So that's something that probably Thibaut Dudanis can continue to build on. Yeah, several players coming back. Yeah. Look at Zaliba, and she is a senior. That <laughs> As we mentioned, the 10th 
appearance in the NCAA tournament, five straight, but four straight with the top four seed in the tournament and playing like they are on a revenge tour as she takes the bump in the field. Coming down off the bench, just a freshman, showing some poise, able to take that contact. A much deserved round of applause as they has a convincing win over the Fairfield Stags and dance on in the tournament.